we are keeping this podcast going. Welcome back, and if you are new here, thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for tuning in. Today, we are going to be talking about X Defiant, okay? The Call of Duty killer, as some people would say. And the only reason why I'm making this podcast about this game is because I've seen it all over my For You page. And when I say all over, I mean almost every other video is about X Defiant. Literally. Anyway. <laughs> so, I, I, I looked on my Xbox. I have an old Xbox One. A very crappy old Xbox One. If this is the, this is it right right here in the frame of the, the third camera back there. And it is looks fun. It looks fun. It on Xbox I can't play it yet, unfortunately. I can't even play it on my computer. It's exclusive. It's like a closed beta or whatever. Um I tried to find a way to play it. I couldn't play it. Maybe get some ga gameplay for you guys, but I, I can't do that. So um I want to say when I when I hear Call of Duty Killer I, the first instinct is to laugh, right? Like, you heard it so many times, people are just talking about it constantly. They're always like, ah, it's a Call of Duty killer. Ah, 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 ah split, split gate. Oh, it's going to be, you know. So, we'll get we'll get into split gate in, 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 in a minute. But, Call of Duty killer has been thrown around so much that it's kind of just like, alright, you know what I mean? Re relax. Call, Call of Duty, in, a, in and of itself, is a fast-paced military shooter, right? Always has been... Obviously, it's evolved over time where it's gotten the jetpacks, it's gotten slide canceling, it's gotten different movements, drop shotting, stuff like that. And at the end of the day, Call of Duty is its own kind of realm. Just like how I feel like Apex is its own realm, and I also feel like that, um, like, you know, Fortnite's its own realm. There's different things you can do in every game. There's different mechanics that make it unique and make it more fun than others. Of You know, again, that's all more of a preference, but... Call of Duty in in and of, of of itself is is a is a military shooter that is simple, right? Bullet velocity is close to realistic b bullet physics. It's not realistic, but it's very close. Like there's really there's no wind. There, there's no uh, there's no there's little to no bullet drop. Like in reality, if you're shooting somebody from let's say 200 meters, like there's going to be some significant bullet drop. So that's where Battlefield comes in. And they're kind of the more realistic type of shooter. At the end of the day, except for their machine guns, they're a little weird. But a lot of the LMGs also, their bullets spray everywhere. Like, la, la, la. you're like, okay, chill. Why? But but anyway, Call of Duty is, can I'm going to be honest. Call of Duty is the only game that can kill itself. That's just something that I've learned from many years of gaming. And thank you so very much for tuning into this episode of X Defiant, the Call of Duty Killer, episode three of this podcast. Really do appreciate it. If you are enjoying this content, please leave a like. And subscribe. Now back to it. It's slowly killing itself over time. I love Call of Duty. Don't get me wrong. I, I love multiplayer. I really tended to tolerate Warzone and kind of bat, bat, Battle Royales. I kind of talked a little bit about that in Doc's um, episode from, from last week. But, yeah, I don't like BRs. Just FYI. I'll, I may even do a podcast straight on how much I don't like BRs and what I hate, hate, about, hate, hate about them specifically. But that's a story for a different po podcast. But as as far as X Defiant goes, it is definitely a contender. It is it is something that will be able to go up against a game like Call of Duty and be able to give it maybe even the push that we need to make it a better game. So X Defiant is it is a contender. That's that's what I will say. It, ha it has a lot of good things from Call of Duty. Because of the developers that, that are on the team that have been listening to the actual community, they're probably also gamers themselves. They're kind of tired of the things that the you know high, higher ups have been doing at you know Activision and and Blizzard and stuff like that. So here's here's the here's the the real issue with X Defiant that I have, and it's not really even really an issue. It's just that everyone needs to stop labeling it as the Call of Duty killer because if you do that, you hype it up too much, and then. The problem with hype in, in a lot of in a, in a lot of scenarios, and this happened to Google Stadia, too much hype, and then everybody gets disappointed, which is what Call of Duty I feel like has been doing for the past five to ten years. I would say the game was hyped so much, it was marketed so well, everyone was talking about it on YouTube, on you know TikTok, blah blah. blah. Like this happened especially in Cold War. Uh, Vanguard, even Modern Warfare 2, the, the new one that that I feel like. 
everyone's talking about it. Everyone's hyping it up. And then you get it and you're kind of just like, okay, I spent $64 on this. This is, this is just the same as last time with some different guns and some different we weapons. X Defiant, which I'm actually going to get into some gameplay here because I actually want to show you some, something. And this this video is going to be from uh, from Tomographics. Let, 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 let me show you this, the beginning of this video, maybe like a little bit of gameplay. We'll see. But the beginning of this video is definitely very helpful and kind of just summing up what's going on. And I'll talk about it after we're done with with, with, the, with the segment. But this kind of brings in like a good sum, summarization of what this whole thing's about. So the internet has labeled X Define as the Call of Duty killer. And to be honest, I don't think anything can kill COD other than COD itself. But competition is always good. And this game in particular goes back to the glorious roots of what we all used to love about arcade shooters. You've got fun gameplay, good movement and outplay potential, solid performance and no skill-based matchmaking. And it's even being made by some ex-COD developers. And these guys just know what COD is supposed to be and are trying to capture the flavor that's been missing from recent Call of Duty titles. Modern Warfare 2, the second one, we're looking at you. The map are great and for the most part are built with the classic three lane design. There's 14 maps at launch by the way as well as 24 weapons with 5 factions inspired by different Ubisoft games. You've got The Division, Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell, Watch Dogs and Far Cry so X Defiant certainly has a lot going for it and with it being free to play on top of everything I just mentioned, I really don't know but it could be Ubisoft's greatest success in years. Especially if the devs continue to listen to the community which they seem to be doing so far. Only problem on PC is that the game is exclusive to Uplay which a lot of people tend to hate and i've not really played a whole lot during the beta just because the servers have been so unstable with players teleporting all over the place but things are looking much better now and i've got some gameplay to show you playing with my friends aculite and stomata 64 so leave a like for the algorithm subscribe for more like this and i will catch you legends in the next one these bot accounts are so so let me kind of touch on this this whole thing real really quick so what he said was was pretty much a good a great su sum up of the entire game. It's got 14 maps. It's got 25 guns. It's got a lot of different developers from different games: Far Cry, uh, Call of Duty, you know, thing, yeah, you know, etc. Et so we we have a good lineup. There's there's no doubt about that. We have a good lineup. We have people that are ready to pretty much fight for us as far as as far as development comes in. The people that are probably in the higher ups in this in this kind of like you know game area are gonna are in this game and trying to like making the decisions are gonna probably you know be thinking about us more 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 than anything so <laughs> here's where it kind of gets a little crazy and kind of where i'm just sitting here saying well is it really going to be that good it's a ubisoft game now i'm not trying to say ubisoft games suck now i'm trying to say there's a lot of different problems with with, with ubisoft and they're, they have their own set of issues along with Call of Duty. Okay, now keep that in mind. Call of Duty <laughs> and Ubisoft are the two companies that people complain about the most. Okay, now this may be a direct competitor of Call of Duty, which is a good thing. I think Call of Duty needs a little bit of a, of a push to kind of start listening to the community and starting to make a better game that actually everyone will enjoy. Um, I know people enjoy, there's certain parts of it that I enjoy uh, still, but again, overall the game I feel like has just been a copy and paste over and over again, and it's just getting really boring, okay? And you can say whatever you want to say about that, but that is that is a fact I feel like at, at, at this point. That is the, the consensus of the entire community, and that's fine. Mo moving on, Ubisoft. They, have, they are known for server issues, okay? They are known for server issues. And, <laughs> and that is a thing that I want everyone to understand that is watching this video. Call of Duty has server issues. Ubisoft has bigger server issues. Okay? That's going to be one of the things that we're going to have to... That's one of the hurdles that we're going to have to get over while playing this game. Okay? I've had a ton of server issues in, in, in Apex. But Ubisoft is about up there where what was happening in, um, in, uh, in Apex... It will be happening on a lot of the Ubisoft games. A lot of multiplayer games in Ubisoft that, that are like PvP have issues. Now, PvE games, like let's say, um, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, like uh, Assassin's Creed. Those were like not really that bad. Um, and even like Far Cry, those weren't that bad. But as far as like PvP games... There are so many server issues, and that's something that I really want you to really, really get from this podcast. <laughs> so, it's they're gonna, they're Call of Duty and, and X Defiant is gonna have their own 
separate issues that we're going to have to deal, deal, deal with. No game is perfect. That's another thing too, that I really want you to understand. No game is perfect. No game out there is going to be, have zero issues on day one launch. And even if they were on a disc, they're going to still have issues. You may not even find them yet, but they, but they were always there. <laughs> X defiant is going to be a direct competitor. And I, and, and I can a hundred percent guarantee that because of the way that how many guns they have, how many maps that they, they have, the gameplay mechanics, the physics in the game, it's going to be a direct competitor. So that's something you're going to be definitely looking forward to as far as this game's launch. <laughs> when it comes to maps, call of duty has been very light, very light over the past five seven years maybe 10 maybe even 10 close to 10 years uh modern warfare 2 didn't even have that that many maps and it's also got its old map structure back so it's more of like a three lane um which is pretty much what i loved you know you could lock down the map if you're smart enough there was always a way to get out there was always like a th main three lane but then there was always like a little maybe like a side lane to kind of get out now there's I mean, it's, it's, I would say, I would even dare say realistic. Like there is so many buildings, so many different ways you can get through and go around people. You can go through a middle building and then kind of go through an alleyway and go through the second building and go, it is impossible to watch a large area by yourself, you know, as, as a sniper or whatever. You can get shot from so many different angles. It is a dare I say realistic, especially in multiplayer, like my war for 2019, it, there is there was so many ways to get around that map to like flank to do whatever and that's great i mean that's great awesome it feels realistic but my god when i'm playing call of duty i love the three lanes that was my favorite part of call of duty being able to lock down three lanes there was always again there was always a fourth or a fifth way but it was like kind of small not really no not really known and you could always get around people in certain ways or there was three lanes and then like in one lane there was three or four different ways that you could come from or there was, you know, and then there's the same thing with, like, the other lane. But it's like, you there was always three main lanes, three solid lanes that you, that you always had to watch. Because that was the only way that people could could actually come from. But there's multiple ways within those places that people could, could actually come from. Which is fine. That was the way I loved it. The other thing now, too. The guns. Lots of guns. And one thing, actually, that I watched the other day on TikTok, I believe. It was a video of, a, of, a, of the gunsmith. On Modern Warfare 2. I forgot who it was. It might have been Dysit. I don't remember if that was him or not. Is that how you pronounce his name? D it's D-Y-S-I-T. I believe his name is. I forgot how to. Dysi. I don't know how to fucking say it. Um, he did a video. I, I think it was him. It might have been some, somebody else. I don't I don't 100% remember. But the gunsmith was supposed to be like being able to like unlock one portion of it. And then being able to use that that like attachment. That barrel or that weapon. Or not that weapon. Um, ma magazine on a different gun. But as of right now, you can't do that. So that part where they promised us is not even in the game. Now, again, Gunsmith is very vast, and I and I, I personally think it's too com 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 complicated in this new Call, Call of Duty. I, I personally think the Gunsmith is just too much. I, I don't... I don't want to f with it any, anymore. I mean, it, you know, again, it's you got to use this attachment to get this attachment. You got to use this attachment to be able to get this attachment. And then you got, there's too much. There's too much go going on. Again, I'm a simple gamer whatever you want to say whatever you want i think it's way too fucking complicated for a guy that works sometimes most of the time from seven until like eight o'clock at night okay I, I can't be doing this all the time okay so now moving on to you know the developers like i want to talk a little more more about them the fact that they're on our side is going to be a good thing in this. That's going to be one of our pretty much our main our main advantages and i and i also think it's not just the development team because because remember when 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 the developers are making a game, there are people above them. There are project managers. There are managers that are actually do. They're actually giving the orders. They're the ones giving the orders from the top. Shit rolls downhill. Okay, so things go downhill. So that's the thing you have to understand. When the developers, they may not agree with what the hell is going on, but they have to do what they're told. Unfortunately, that's just the way that the working world works for most of you that are actually working. And <coughs> so. 
that means that the people that are up top will probably be actually on our side to make the game better overall, which is a good thing. That means that we are going to be heard and we're going to get fought for. And then the developers can actually make something that we're all going to like and that they're going to be prou proud of. Not saying that they're not proud of the game that they're making now, but the thing is, is that um, a lot more people will probably be praising them more than, you know, sh talking shit all the time. And if you haven't seen the Avid Streamer vi video, you should go watch that. Or maybe I haven't. I'll play it right, right now. But that's kind of that was the reference that I was making in that one. <laughs> Especially for the streamers that talk shit all the time. And I talk shit a lot, but I also don't mean a lot of it. I do. I genuinely think that Call of Duty's good still. It's just that there's there's so many little nuances that have to just get addressed in it that can make the game so much better and keep it growing. But the problem is that they're just looking for money at this point, and that's really not what the the the, the community wants. X Defiant and Call of Duty Killer, I don't think should be in the same sentence, but I definitely think it's going to be a good contender. I said this already, and I, I want to drive that home. It's going to be a contender. With all the maps, with all the guns, with all of its abilities, with 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 everything that is that is going to be built into this game, I think it's going to be a direct competitor, and I, and I hope and I pray that this will be the thing to get Call of Duty, to get Activision off of their asses, to actually start making some real changes to Call of Duty that aren't just BS changes, that aren't just like a simple little day one patch or day 12 patch or day 15 patch or whatever. Like This game is free to play. Modern Warfare 2 is not free to play. You have to buy the game. Warzone is free to play. Fortnite is free to play. This game, this multiplayer game, is free to play. Now imagine if they make a Battle Royale, because you guys are so obsessed with Battle Royales. Imagine if they make a Battle Royale for this. Now imagine that that Battle Royale is got, maybe even it's got some, you know, environmental changes. It's got some, you know, um, uh, like PVE type, type, type things where you're facing zombies and you're facing you know, uh, some, some weather conditions, kind of like what, what Battlefield did with, uh, with the tornadoes and the wind storms and whatever else and the sand storms and whatever else. Uh, imagine if that happens, right? That's something that I really want to, to drive home. This multiplayer game is free. Okay. Free to play. It's going to be free to play right now. It's closed beta. I can't play it. So maybe once it comes out, maybe I'll do some gameplay. Maybe not. Maybe I'll do a, a longer video on it. We'll see. But I, I am trying, I'm transitioning my, my content, which I'll, I'll, again, I'll kind of make a video on that and I'll also talk about it in my story, but I'm going to be transitioning my content pretty much from gaming to game development. But then also I'm going to be game, I'm going to be giving you guys access to, to the game and you got, you guys can play it. Like this game, this channel will still be about gaming, but this, my original idea for this was kind of like a company and a brand and stuff like that. But I'm still like the face of the brand. I want you guys to know that. So, um, this is going to be a great game. My only worry is, is that it's Ubisoft. <laughs> Direct competitors, Ubisoft and Call of Duty are, have I feel like have always been direct com com competitors. But Ubisoft has a tendency to... Um, Actually, I can't even say that because I, I was going to say that it has a tendency to kind of collapse in on, on itself. But, I mean, call, uh, Activision does the same thing. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I think that these companies might be able to clash and be able to actually get us something that will be more tangible and actually be enjoyable to play. Um, especially if they have direct competitors. Because, again, I, I didn't feel like Call of Duty had a direct competitor. <coughs> and... That was a bad thing. That 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 didn't help us as gamers. Becoming complacent is not is not fun. Oh, well, for the for the gamers any, anyway. So let, so let's 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 now get into a little bit of gameplay. I'll, I'll show you some gameplay just so that you guys are you know I'm, you've, I'm sure you've right seen now. it, but let's kind of go over it. <laughs> yeah, or the comment when people are like, "Oh, this is my favorite part," and they time Remember, stamp the very end. This of the is video. Tomo Graf. That's his name. That's that's the uh, I think that's his name. Picture. He usually plays with Stone oh, Mountain yeah, and everyone. Are, I don't yeah, really watch his content that much, so but I thought that this video was actually really good, especially in the beginning for how he summed everything up. It'd be a real shame if something happened. All right, I'm gonna snipe. I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. Yeah. Honestly, you guys have like not been covering me at all. Let me show you how it's done. You haven't been getting any shots. Like you're missing everything, so mm. let me show you how it's done here, guys. Maybe this is snipe. Look at the scoreboard, guys. Everybody, look at the no. scoreboard right now. Take a screenshot, post it to Twitter. I don't think I will. 
I'm dead. The other guys Over. couldn't even, they can't even get a kill with a sniper. I'm one of the best one. kills. Oh, that, there we go. Did you wait, oh so you my. put on a sniper again, so you're gonna crash again? No, 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 I'm using a different build. Oh yeah, that'll change it. Yeah, I just got a faith con, that's how it works. Oh! oh. Kill her, kill her, kill her! No! You gotta hit the shot stone. I tagged her behind the barrel there. Frank, so Sna sniping seems to be pr pretty smooth, like 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 Call of Duty always has been. Get him off the point. So that's a, that's always a good thing. Nice. I love that from you. I also don't I also don't know what game mode this this, this is. This seems like a pr pretty fun game game mode. Oh, you only get the A card later. It's kind of like uh, almost like hard point, um, or like escort or something along those lines. That's kind of what it looks like. Let's go the right side. Let's wait on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Right. go into anything besides sniping. Wait, she's floating. Is that all he does? Why am I teleporting? What? Oh, uh, the because they've gone past our spawn now. They won't let us spawn camp. Oh my god. Is it third person? When is an act? Want a lawn that looks? Oh like no. This, but your lawn no! looks a little bit more like this. Oh, I hate like ass. Right go away. I feel like there's a oh, way. Oh, I hit mark the top. How is that a hit mark? That this was a one tap. I pressed left click, died two seconds later. All right, later. Here, here we go. This is this is FPS more of a gunplay. We need to escort this. I mean, the guns, it could also be the settings, I but I think the guns have like me. zero recoil. Yeah, that's what your mom told me to. <laughs> I've seen a lot of videos where the guns have zero re re recoil. And it's it's crazy. Sound? You always gotta do something, you know, like. Algebra. Ooh, how'd you like them apples, Blossoms? Not a big apple guy. Uh, I've never been to New York. Wait, really? You guys don't like apples? Take a good orange, though. I don't mind apples. I mean, they're okay, but it's not like I'm like, oh. I like the I like the flavor of apple, but I feel like I lose my damn teeth sometimes. They clean your teeth, man. They clean your teeth. Yeah, apple, they guns are too. Well, I still I still feel like the, the well, TTK like is a little years. slower though. The then, then, like a normal yeah, car. We go. First section done. I want to see everyone escorting this package. Makes sense to me. Alright. Behind us. Got him. Good cover. You can resupply ammo off the escort. Oh, yes, that's you cool. can. It's got giant ammo bags attached to it, guy. Even that to yourself, where you gonna? Look, look at the top. I it's got giant ammo stuff. bags attached to it. Tips and tricks video on this? Yeah, thanks for the tip. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's coming out never. Nice. I can't wait to never see it. Courtesy. I am pushing this thing all the way. Good pushing. They can try and stop me. Oof. I'm dead. Nice. You're the last one. Complete the mission. They should teleport back now, no? I think so. We have to push it past their current spawn. That's why you got it. You got it. Yeah, I do. I'm defending from... Ugh. Almost. Yes, open the door. Door is open. I door is open. It, boys. I, I should like that. Proud. So... It looks like that they have a spawn son. protection too. Mommy, you gotta see a new part of the map now. I'm, I'm How far like are we that. ahead? Dude, I'm yeah, back. we're so like, far ahead. inside the spawn. I went deep. Like we are. Oh, they're this on the thing. point. What the hell? <laughs> we flanked them, but they were flanking us. Though. Yeah, I was hitting the spawn shield. It sounded like Star Wars. That was a fun game, by the way. Star Wars. Yeah. What game? There's quite a few of them. Exactly. What did I get one shot with? <laughs> he puts an angry face. Oh my God, he puts an angry <laughs> face. <laughs> He's an invisible sniper, dude. Hey, Stone, there's a react feature where you can use an emote to react to the enemy kills. Angry every. So a lot to break down in this. There's a lot. There's a lot of. There's a lot of stuff to break down. So sniping feels like it's very similar to the way Call of Duty always kind of has been. I feel like it's got a little bit different over time. A little bit slower. But um, it feels like a Modern Warfare 2 type of sniping, which is, you know, in a lot of cases, good. Like Modern Warfare 20, 2009, not 2022. Um, spawn protection. Great, great, great thing. And, and it, what I mean by spawn protection, I do not mean spawn protection like as the person as spawn I, 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 I absolutely cannot say this enough. I fucking hate it when you have spawn protection that's like just you. Like, I want an area that's spawn protected. And that I could shoot out of, but they can't shoot into. Like, that is probably the best spawn protection on the planet, if, if you think about it. Like, in Battlefield, if there is a dome over the spawn point, right? 
and you were getting because I've been spawn trapped. Like I've I've had our entire twenty five member team be, be spawn trapped within battlefield, like in that game. It's happened. I've had it happen. Right. So the thing I want to the thing I really want to get past here is having the ability to have a dome around your spawn. Right. Let's say. And being able to shoot out, let's say, at tanks, at people, whatever. Like, they would not be able to spawn kill you, but you'd be able to kill them. So you could kill off people as they're coming to your spawn. You could, like, get a bunch of rocket launcher people and kill tanks, kill helicopters without them even coming close to you. That would prevent spawn killing 100%. This, obviously, in a little bit is a little bit different of, of like, a scenario almost because... Um, I mean, it depends if you can shoot through the wall. If you can shoot through the wall in this game, maybe you might be able to kill people through through walls, but I, I don't know that. Because uh, they could, like, if the doorway is the only thing that's got that shield on it, then that means, that probably means that um, you could probably maybe shoot shoot through walls. But it, but, but regardless, if there's, like, a, a whole wall across it, that's fine. Good. If, if I can shoot out of it and they can shoot in it, or they can't shoot in it, that's perfect. Because then, like, they can't spawn kill me. I have to come out of the spawn or they have to, they have to, they have to come into the spawn to kill me or I have to come out of the spawn for, 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 for them to kill me. So, you know, it's like, it also prevents you from being a dick and shooting and, and like the lane, the one lane that I could get out of my spawn and spawn killing me over and over again. So that's, that is a feature that I wish was in every game, especially call of duty game. I hate it when it's just spawn protection on the one person. Cause it screws you because it's like, some dude may have just spawned, now is in front of all of his teammates, and then you shoot that guy first, he's got spawn protection on him. Or if you're in a kill streak and you know you want to get your next kill streak, and then you know you're shooting, 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 and it's like the shield pops up, and you're like, what the fuck? Why can I not kill this guy? It's because of spawn protection. I'm not against spawn protection, but I hate spawn protection for the specific person. I just feel like a dome or some kind of like barrier that that the that the person that's getting spawn kill can shoot out of, and the person that's spawn killing cannot shoot in. That is 100% the thing that I, you know, that, that I'm with. I, I want that. That's the thing I want. Um, but let's go on. Let's move on to gun, to gunplay. Gunplay in this game seems very fast paced and it, everything kind of seems fast paced, which is kind of what Call of Duty is. And, you know, they're trying to steer away from it a little bit. I feel like they're trying to maybe go more into like a military type shooter game, but it's, I feel like it was always fast paced in Model Warfare Two, like Model Warfare Three, Model Warfare Two, it, it, in the, the original ones in, in Model Warfare. Um, but when they added this gunsmith in Model Warfare Two, it made it feel so much slower. It made er er everything feel so much slower, especially during the beta and even like the first couple months that 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 the game was out. Modern Warfare 2 felt very slow. Like, you put on an attachment, I felt like you were crawling. Like, you were literally on your knees trying to run across the map. That's that's what I felt. Like, you didn't even have knee pads. Like, that's how bad it was. And it was like... It was like every game. It's like, I put on a red dot. Like, i go from having no attachments. I'd be running around, jumping a little bit. Like, you know, feeling good. i put a red dot on, and I feel like my guy just, like, would put on, like, a like a 180-pound vest... And he's just like on his knees, just like trying to run across the map or like jumping around. Like I felt like so heavy. And it was weird. And it was like the more attachments you put on, the worse it got. I think they they mostly fixed that now, especially because because Warzone kind of got in integrated. Warzone two got got integrated, so they kind of fixed that. But I still feel like sometimes if you put on like three or four attachments, like it you you move so slow. But again, back then it was always one. There was always one attachment on the gun, or you know, bling was two. But you know, I didn't feel like it slew, it slowed down your character with these with these stats with the guns. You know, having a bullet drop and having the characters move slower, and you know, you you're heavier, and you know, your your movement speed is less, and your ADS speed is less. like. I feel like that a lot of this stuff isn't really perfected, so I feel like it's just not really there. It's it just makes it very difficult to kind of like you know get yourself situated with an actual set 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 setup that works. It doesn't feel like you're sluggish or you know kind of. My, my point is that it's not perfect and and it's it's just these these the things that happen are like glitches or whatever else that just like make the game feel weird and that's that's kind of the nuances i was talking about before where like it's the little stuff that really pisses me off in the game and again i always think it's not gonna be perfect but at the same time it's like call video like you could fix this like you could definitely fix this one thing you know meta guns and everything like 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 that you you, you could fix that stuff um but i want to go back to recoil 
I literally have seen so many videos, and it could be the settings on PC, because PC players are demons when it comes to this stuff. I have ADFOV on my Xbox One, so every gun that I shoot goes like this, even though it has no recall, you know, in general. So, like 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 a nine millimeter or twenty two for me on that game on a game with ADFOV will like go like this, even though like in real life I could shoot a, a nine millimeter without any recoil. It's really a nine millimeter doesn't have really that much recoil in real life, just FYI. So for those of you that haven't actually shot real guns, a nine millimeter doesn't really have that much re recoil. I shot a Beretta. That was like my favorite gun, gun to shoot. The N9 Beretta has like no recoil in real life. So like the one in Call of Duty when they were like, when you'd shoot it and it go like this, that's not, that's not realistic. Like you're, you have to have no wrist strength for that to happen. Like it, it has recoil, but like if you're holding it, like it'll go like this. That's like the, that's like the most recoil you're, you're going to get. It's very easy to stay on target. That's why the, that's why I was standard in like the actual military for like, I don't know how long I, uh, I want to say like 10, 15 years. I might be wrong though, but, uh, it was like standard for such a long time. Now, now there's a different standard for all military we we weapons, but I, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, this game, I feel like the recoil in it is like way, like there's just no recoil compared to call of duty. And Again, it could be the FOV, it could be the PC players, I, I don't know, but like, my god, I've seen, th in this in this video alone, that we just watched, like, zero recoil on like any of the guns. So, except for snipers, snipers had a little bit of recoil, there was like a little side, kind of up to the left type of recoil, but very minimal. So, I, just, I think machine guns are going to be the thing to use in this game, just like Call of Duty is kind of now, because they have little to no recoil, they're pretty sh they're pretty fire from a distance and that's actually another thing that i wanted to talk about too is just the the sheer amount of bullets it takes to kill somebody in this like i feel like it's maybe double the ttk in call of duty which i end up you know double double du du double the ttk in call of duty is like 1.3 seconds you know so it's like about as fast as a tesla Mo model s to kill somebody uh in, in this game to, for, to get to, to, to go from zero to 60 <coughs> So at the end, the end of the day, is that really that fast? Pro, you know, is that really that you know slow? Pro, probably not. But compared to Call of Duty, it's like it's like it feels like a century. You're trying you're trying to kill kill somebody. Um, it also feels it also looks like they're they're having some kind of hit detection may, maybe problems in this. Uh, I I think I saw um to, Tomo um shoot people a couple times, and it was like the bullets kind of went through them. But I mean, I think there's still hit reg issues on call of duty whether they're skill based hit reg or not i don't know but that is something that is a whole different video that we could talk about but i there might be skill there might be skill based hit reg in call of duty but this definitely has some like maybe some issues with the server um he also mentioned server issues too so there's there's issues with people you know lagging and everything uh call of duty does have this issue but um Ubisoft is definitely gonna have, is gonna str str struggle with that, and that's probably gonna be the, one of the things that's either gonna kill this game or, or make or make it thrive. So if they could figure that out quick and definitely, uh, you know, make it so that it's not as annoying, I definitely think that this game will be a direct competitor of Call of Duty. I dare would even say Call of Duty Killer, but I don't like to say that, especially when the game's not even freaking out yet. Like it's like there's like a handful of like YouTubers that have played this, and they're like, "Yeah, it's the Call of Duty Killer." You're like, "Stop hyping it. It's fine." Um, but as far as gameplay, I definitely think X Defiant is is there. It's definitely going to be one of the best games to be playing. Um, as of right now. You know, I, I'm watching a lot of this, and um, the abilities are definitely going to be the one, one of the create, one of the best things. Um, at the end of the day, so the abilities are. That's really to me what makes or break a game. Like, I I really like the division, as far as like being able to be you know a um let's say a what's like what's the best way to say this being a ha, having the the abilities is it's really a good way to keep a player engaged because it's something that's new that's kind of like a treat almost every, every single time and that really i i like the division of being able to have like the ability to be you know a tank person or an attack person or 
um, a you know a robotics person or like I forgot what the hell the abilities person or whatever. You had like a drone. You could do like you know like have like the healing module stuff stuff like that. That that was fun. Um, and giving the players the ability to do that, or you could be all three and you kind of like upgrade all three different things. But there's like sets that they had and whatever else. That that's more of a looter shooter. This isn't these aren't loot, these aren't loot, 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 looter shooters. But like so, something like Apex, where you have your own LB ability or your whatever it is on keyboard, and you have your own uh, ultimate ability. Like that's the kind of stuff that's cool that keeps people engaged. It looks like you can cloak in this. I don't know if there's other abilities. I haven't really like got. I haven't really looked into that too much. So, but like one of the things is cloaking. That's cool. But if there's like a maybe like a rocket launcher or like a minigun, that's more of what I what I would enjoy. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like the maps too are kind of vast as far as like their, not only structure, but their, their, um, detail is probably the better word for, 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 for that. I, I would probably say the detail is a lot better on these maps than in call of duty. And these maps are not like copies. And I feel like call of duty has been making like, co which is why they've had the issues that they've had, you know, in the past, of um they're they're like almost copying they're not almost they are copying real places and it's like guys you can't really do that without you know consent you know what i mean so they that also that also kind of makes me you know it makes me think like how much creativity is really go, going on you know if you're if you're copying real places and getting trouble for it how how creative is the is the team really really getting? And again, this could be all shit from the top. Like it could be like, yeah, copy West Mill or copy you know Re Rebirth Island. That's a real place. Let's copy that shit. You know, go there, get take some pictures. You know, that could be a thing. And that's okay to have every once in a while. I, I feel like I feel like definitely you could have a map or two or three maps or four maps in like a 10, 12, 15 map lineup or like they're kind of copy. They're a copy of real places. That's fine. That, that, the, having a real place, being able to go visit that place, that creates, like, a connection between the game and the player, a lot of times. There's people that have visited Re Rebirth Island in real life, you know what I mean? And, you know, Alcatraz and stuff, I mean, the real people that visit Alcatraz are criminals, but anyway, um, the, my, my, my point is, is that, you know, you can copy real places, or you can make them up, and that's, that's what they really haven't been doing. Like, there, there are so many assets on, like, the Unity store and the Unreal Engine store of maps that are, like, not copied. Thank you so much for watching this podcast all the way through episode three. If you enjoyed the content, please support it by giving it a like and sharing it with, with your friends and definitely subscribing to this channel to not miss the next podcast, short or long form content. And this also does help get our information out and we can make games and we can make games for the community and make the gaming world just a little bit better every, every single day. Thank, thank you very much. And you please enjoy the rest of your Sunday or Saturday. Or both. You know what? Just enjoy your weekend.